popular program honoring military veterans in Westmoreland County is expanding. And as Shelley Bortz found out, the Jeanette American Legion Post 344 plans to raise many more banners featuring our local heroes. The first thing that stands out to visitors of Jeanette is the banners like this one featuring portraits of local heroes that hang on the street lamps throughout downtown Jeanette. Now even more veterans will be honored throughout the city streets. I think it's amazing. As you drive up and down Clay Avenue, the banners of military hometown heroes line either side of the street. A noble tradition business owner Clay Pinkerton says makes him proud to live in Jeanette. I always look at them whenever I'm driving past and it's a great way to remember the people who have fallen or veterans that dedicated themselves to this country. American Legion Post 344 has raised some 100 banners already, memorializing local service members with the desire to add even more. With a recent nod from City Council, the Legion announced it will add another 100 banners to sections of Lowry and Harrison Avenues, in addition to Division, 2nd and South 5th Streets. We, we've always, you know, cared about one another here in Jeanette. Um, and like I said, I, I think, you know, they should be honored more and brought to light a little more. The Legion has had an overwhelming interest from veterans and their families, which encouraged them to expand the program. Those who apply must have spent half their life in Jeanette if they aren't currently a resident. Jeanette has always had uh, a real hometown, small hometown feel. And I think them honoring the veterans, I think, I think everybody will enjoy, you know, appreciate seeing that. The American Legion is now accepting applications for the banners. The price is $180 to install. In Jeanette, Shelley Wartz, KDKA TV News.